Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a business and it, it's going to earn money. We've got $96 for one job. We've got $78 for a second job. And then the money was divided equally. So that's, I mean, they're going to go ahead and tell you that we're going to use division right there among the three partners who owned the business. So we're looking for M and it needs to be in a strip diagram. The amount of money that each partner received. Well, let's see if we can draw this right here. So We've got three partners. Let me just draw three little stick people here. And so they are equally going to split some money. And we've got two amounts here. So we've got this 96 and then we've got 78. So let's figure out what that is. Six and eight is 14. That 9 and 1 is 10, 17 to so $174. So these three people are going to evenly split 174. I'm just wondering what that is. Let's see if we can do some division. See if it goes in evenly. 3 goes into 174. So 3 goes into 17. I'm going to have to go 17 just because I can't. 3 doesn't go into 1. So we need to go into 17 five times. So 3 times 5, that's 15. And we subtract 2 is smaller than 3. We're good. Let's bring down the 4. It's looking pretty good. 3 goes into 24 eight times. So there we go, 58 bucks. So each of these people get $58. And sometimes when we're looking for an unknown, if possible, it's kind of nice to see if we can figure out what that unknown is because that's going to help us. So we think our M equals the amount of money each partner received. This is our unknown. Sometimes it's uh, called a variable. Either way, it is just a letter that represents an amount that we don't know, at least at the beginning of the problem. Now we do. We know that it is $58. So let's see what happens here. I'm just going to start plugging in 58 into every place that I see an M, starting with F. So I've got 58, 58, 58. I can either do 58 plus 58 plus 58. I'll probably just do a little multiplication. 58 times 3, that should equal that 174 because I just did 174 divided by 3 equals 58. So 58 times 3, as long as I did my math right, should work. 3 times 5 is 15. Add that 2. So this is 174. And then I've got my 78 and my 96. And I've already done that right there. That's also 174. So that strip diagram does look good. They kind of flipped it. I would expect this total right here to kind of be on the top and then the three parts on the bottom. But other than that, that looks like a pretty good strip diagram. Let's see what H says. We've got 58, 58, and 58. We know that 58 times 3 makes 174, not 96. So they just took... They just took one of these. We need, the, we need the other one. You've got to add 96 and 78. That doesn't work. Let's check G. Yeah, that's silly. Um, so what they did here is they said each person of the three partners earned that 78 and 96. So they just did three sets of 78 and 96. We know that's way more than 58. And they at least added the 78 and 96, but they only did one person, not three. So our answer is F.